Good morning, and welcome to another segment of the Worf Report for December 8th. Keep America vigilant to 23. Pumped full of drugs. Joe Biden reportedly walks around the White House naked at night, not knowing who he is, and is allegedly pumped full of amphetamines. This, as a video resurfaces online of a younger Joe Biden, telling Americans that leaving weapons and equipment behind in a withdrawal of troops would be faster, but the weapons would be used against our kids and grandkids. The Justice Department files nine new criminal charges against Hunter Biden in what is likely another political stunt to make it appear as though the DOJ is not biased ahead of the 2024 election. A video surfaces online, allegedly revealing an internal Pfizer document showing the reverse engineering of source code and presence of graphene oxide in COVID vaccines, which then work with spike proteins to create structures in your body, aka blood clots, that cause cardiac events and even death. And the Democrat Attorney General of New Mexico takes on Mark Zuckerberg after an undercover operation reveals that his platforms enable the trafficking and exploitation of minors. First, to the corrupt Department of Justice, where a nine-count indictment charges Hunter Biden with tax evasion, failure to file and pay taxes, and filing a false or fraudulent tax return. The indictment references a four-year scheme to avoid paying $1.4 million in tax obligations from 2016 to 2019. If convicted, he would face up to 17 years in prison. But don't get our hopes up. Until we see Hunter Biden behind bars, this is all just a ploy ahead of the 2024 election to make ignorant Americans believe that the DOJ is not biased. It's political theater, folks, and nothing more. Very likely nothing significant will happen to Hunter, as per usual. Meanwhile, Daddy Joe Biden has problems of his own. Alex Jones sat down with Tucker Carlson and revealed that sources with the Secret Service and others say that Joe Biden, quote, is completely out of his mind. And, quote, he wanders around for the entire two and a half years, but it's getting worse. Naked in the White House in the middle of the night. He doesn't know who he is. They have to give him a bunch of drugs, a bunch of methamphetamines in the morning. Then they've got to drug him at night. Sometimes he's got to, though. He'll be out for the morning for a while and then comes back out at night for a ball. That's when there's a real problem. Jones said that a makeup artist corroborated these claims and that Biden is, quote, pumped full of amphetamines to carry out his responsibilities. Not surprising, is it, folks? We know Joe Biden isn't the one really running the show. He's just the stand-in puppet for Obama and company. Now we have two very important videos to show you. The first shows a younger Joe Biden explaining how a withdrawal of troops would take a year but would be much faster if weapons and equipment were left behind, but they would then be used on our kids and grandkids. The second video exposes how an internal Pfizer document containing the source code of the COVID vaccine shows 15 billion nanoparticles of graphene oxide in some dosages of the shot, which then work inside the body with the spike proteins to create structures, aka blood clots, which in turn cause death and cardiac events. Want to keep watching? YouTube continues to ban our channel and remove our truthful reporting, previously labeling our content as, quote, harmful to the public. Support us and sign up for full segments at theworthreport.com where we can say exactly what we want without the censorship or suppression. Only $6.99 a month or $49.99 a year. You can also take advantage of our current special going on now through Christmas Day by making a one-time donation of $50 or more through the link in the description of this video and receive your choice of either a Worth Report coffee mug, Worth Report tumbler, or a Worth Report t-shirt while supplies last. You will also receive a one-year subscription complimentary to our full segments at theworthreport.com. We truly can't do this without you, so please support us today. Go to theworthreport.com to sign up or donate today. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.